G'day viewers, how the devil are ya? As some as you might know, I'm an Aussie, so I thought I'd do the patriotic thing and have a go at making me own didgeridoo. Of course, unlike the natives, mine's veg oil powered and it keeps you warm in winter as well. But listen to that sound. There's enough heat there to keep the whole tribe happy. This is a very standard setup. As you can see, the blower goes straight into the burner. I do have a bit of metal in front of the motor on the blower, just as a bit of a heat shield. I've got this four inch thick wall pipe, which is actually from a uh, fire hydrant sprinkler type setup. And I've just got the little uh, elbow on the end there. This is it um, firing up. The bolt just sits in the top. That's why it does smoke a bit. I will get around eventually, I suppose, to putting a, a threaded piece on that so I can put a plug in it. But uh, you can see this, how it ramps up and gets hot fairly uh, quickly. There was a lot of rust in the pipe, which you will see how it blows out. I think it was just flaking and the uh, thrust of the, the burner was just pushing it out and it made uh, quite a nice little fireworks effect there. Burners running here nearly flat out, probably doing about 250 kilowatts. Uh, I haven't got the oil quite high enough to give it its full head, but as you can see, it's still kicking out a fair bit of heat. Okay, viewers, well, to show you I'm a man of my word, I'm going to do our safety tip for this video. Now, some people might look at this and live in a cold climate and think, hmm, maybe if I was cold and wet, I could sit on this thing and warm up my cold ass. Well, you shouldn't do that, and here's why. That's what'll happen to your ass if you sit on one of these. So there's another helpful safety tip to keep the stupid alive and kicking one more day from the oil burner channel. To 
give you an idea of oil consumption, that's a 25 litre drum. It was absolutely full when I started this video, but the time is now 22, so I'll let it run for a while and come back and show you how much it's used. I think the thrust and the bit of the pulse jet effect I get has actually vibrated that pipe off the end of the burner a bit so now it's just uh, in free air so that's always good for having a bit of flame fun to back it off there I could see the tree was turning brown before me eyes and it's at least a good probably 15 feet away and 12 feet up now it does kick out a bit of heat this thing Not even full thrust. Okay folks, well, I've probably upset the neighbours uh, enough for one night. So um, that just gives you a bit of an idea of the amount of oil this thing's consumed in exactly five minutes. I've shut it off but it's revving up a bit now. But uh, if you haven't already, uh, please subscribe, click the like button if you enjoyed this uh, video. And uh, I've got lots more amazing burners in the pipeline that I'll be bringing you soon. So stay tuned. And thanks for watching.